anything and everything I put on my face right now stings. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Remy and this is what I looked like a year ago. So yesterday we left Sydney to head to Melbourne and we are stopping by at Chindapine. We drove like five hours and we stayed the night here. We're off again today for another seven hours driving. So it's a long way to go, but um, I'm taking this opening after I did my makeup with you guys because I've got to take the opening. So I'm just taking it quickly now, but you'll see me updating you guys about my skin since coming down here. So let's do my makeup together. My skin is already reacting. It is so much drier down here and my skin doesn't like the change and as well as the dryness. So I'm struggling with my face and my neck usually comes up on my face and my neck and my body is just fine. Anything and everything I put on my face right now stings because my skin barrier is weak. Even the moisturizer that I normally use stings. packed everything up and we're gonna go back on the road for another seven hours it's amazing how like how much i can cover my skin up with makeup like you can't tell i have all that irritation underneath sometimes you gotta know to say goodbye it's been two days since we've arrived in Melbourne. As you can see, there's stuff everywhere. We've started packing and we're moving out in four days. Hey everyone, we're moving out in two days. I was just packing stuff up and um, you know how I updated you guys about my skin in Jindabine saying that my skin was very irritated and dry from the change in climate and the dryness for some reason my skin's doing really well since i've come down to melbourne it's actually better than when i was in sydney which is weird because last time i moved to melbourne my skin did not like this weather and this climate and it was just so much my skin was so much drier than it was back in Sydney so I was expecting that to happen and and with how my skin reacted in Jindabyne I was like sure that my skin wasn't gonna like it for at least a couple of weeks before it kind of like settled but I don't know what happened it feels really nice and moisturized and today is exactly three weeks since I took Dupixent and last time i took it after four weeks so we'll see how my skin is next week oh yeah update on my nips so last time i told you guys that my right nip was very oozy and it always happened when i was due for dupixent but recently it's just been oozing all the time and it doesn't stop even after taking dupixent so and it's just my right one my left one's fine I was using jojoba oil on them every morning and night and my left nip was fine with that but my right one was still oozy so I thought I'd try something different and to stop the ooziness because it's uncomfortable and it sticks on my bra and every time I have to take off my bra you have to kind of like rip it off and every time I do that I'm like ripping off the scab that it formed so it wasn't healing at all so I decided to do like a spot no moisture treatment um, so that's not using moisturizer including jojoba oil and not getting it wet under the shower so 
my shower handle comes off so I avoid the area so that it stays dry I've been doing that for two days now and it stopped oozing and there's lots, lots of like dry flaky scabs around it and I'm just hoping that it would heal nicely because it's just such an uncomfortable thing to have I'm gonna buy some baby powder today because I saw online that putting baby powder on it stops it from sticking to your bra and it kind of like stops the oosiness so I'm gonna give that a go so yeah I'll keep you guys updated on that Look how dry my skin gets. Can you see it? It's so flaky. It always ends up like this after like three, four hours of wearing makeup. So I don't know how to fix this. I forgot to update you guys about the baby powder. So here it is. Usually when I put a bra on, it stops the airflow and it makes it oozy. So I bought a baby powder to see if it would keep it dry and heal better. But that was not the case. The powder mixed with the ooziness and it would make like clumps of the powder and it did not make it dry and it wasn't helping at all so I just stopped using it. Through the 